I get tired. I get tired, man. I get tired of the same old stuff. I get tired of the same setups, the same scripts. I told y'all a couple weeks ago, I told y'all yesterday as well, that Canelo wanted Jaime Munguia to beat John Ryder. He wanted Jaime Munguia to knock John Ryder out. Why would Canelo want Munguia to beat John Ryder in a greater fashion than he beat John Ryder? That doesn't make sense. Well, factor in the fact that Canelo would rather fight Jaime Munguia than David. And y'all know this shit about to go live because we got people coming in immediately. What's up, NBA 2K? What's up, Marco Silva? What's up, brother? What's up? Now, did y'all see the bullshit that we just witnessed? Absolutely. See, we not going to get that Benavidez fight. Absolutely we will never not. see that Benavidez fight. We would never see that again. Uh, and I said, remember when I said it. that a couple lives ago? I said Canelo is not going to fight Benavidez. Munguia did his job. Mm -hmm. I promise you, Canelo was somewhere in his house. In his underwear, uh, <laughs> with a piñata, just going crazy. Mm -hmm. Make, like they had a party over there wherever Canelo was at, yep. clapping yep. and shouting because <laughs> the kid okay. did exactly what he wanted him to do. Here's the thing, though. Canelo's gonna destroy Munguia. Munguia is so bad. He's well, so bad. no, he's not bad. He just um, defensively irresponsible. And the way that John Ryder was counting yeah. him, Canelo gonna knock his ass in the next week. I, I think I can land a few punches on him, man. What the hell? I'm just being... <laughs> it was so bad. Marco said he can land a couple of them. It was... Can he... But if he fights Benavides, Benavides can actually kill him. I'm not even joking. Are you talking about Canelo or Munguia? No. <clears throat> uh, Munguia versus E. Benavides. Oh, yeah. Benavides could, could really, really, you know, Dia de los Muertos, that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yep. And Yo, honestly, yeah. honestly, Benavides and Canelo both knocked this nigga out. Bro, yeah. Ryder, Ryder they both, always getting knocked they both down, get him up out of there, man. Big time. Ryder, Absolutely. We got the thing is, man, Munguia, he's very good on offense, but yep. you cannot be defensively irresponsible at this level. They were showing highlights of him and Gabriel Rosado. And this motherfucker don't care about getting hit at all. You can't do that with certain people. You can't do that at a certain level. Right. Canelo's over, bro. He cherry picks his fights, bro. Prove me wrong. Hey, I'm not trying to pr uh, prove you wrong. You see the picture behind me? But, but Canelo, Canelo got the resume, though. He wanted to beat Ryder. He wanted him to, to really trash Ryder. That way he could make a case for fighting Munguia. And that way he could make Benavidez wait even longer. He's trying Canelo to wait for bully, Benavidez bro. to <laughs> outgrow the weight class. Canelo's a bully, bro. Once I saw him fight and he actually lost to the Cuban Lara, I, I knew that I knew he was a fraud. Bro. <coughs> and they gave it to him anyway. And uh, look, bro, give me one year, bro. I'll knock his ass out myself. <laughs> and, uh, look, bro, give me one year, bro. I'll knock his ass out myself. <laughs> hey, somebody, somebody, you gotta meet yourself. Marcos, you gotta meet yourself. Muggy ain't nothing to Canelo for real. Yeah, he's nothing. Mungia literally is a cherry pick. It's a cherry pick, Dude, man. Like because Ryder did better with Mungia than he did with Canelo. I feel like even though he got stopped, Ryder did. Yeah, Ryder actually had some good moments. Even when they stopped the fight, Ryder landed a crazy hook on Mungia before he got stopped. Nah, I ain't hate no Canelo. I fought with Canelo heavy. Yeah, he no, did. Canelo, Canelo nice, man. Canelo nice, but at the end of the day, this is bullshit. Like, really? Like, okay, bro, let me show you. I, I, I just did a video on this, right? But these are the inconsistencies of Canelo fans. Number one, they'll say, who has been to be there is fault? But when Canelo goes to fight Munguia in September, they're not going to say, well, who is Munguia fault? They're going to say, yeah, he stopped Ryder faster than Canelo, knowing damn well John Ryder is not that guy. They also say that um, Canelo hits harder than Benavidez because Canelo was able to stop Caleb Plant, but mm -hmm. uh, Benavidez wasn't. But you're not going to hear none of them saying, yep, Munguia, he is harder than Canelo. Because he was able to stop Ryder and Canelo wasn't. You're not going to hear this. These are inconsistencies. Oh, yeah. Fanboys. Bro, Canelo got to, he they tested pick and positive, choose. bro, for steroids, homie. They pick and choose. Yeah, I don't trust him. Yeah. Twice. twice. But no one ever brings it up because they try to cover because it. Canelo is a cash cow. And Canelo also, he's a, a, a Caucasian face for them. Yeah. Although he's look, Mexican. He's a cash cow. He looks, he looks white. So it's good for the, you know, the white people. Not yeah, they fuck him, look, been, if he was a little Mexican. bit more brown. Canelo would not have the like. Look, bro, I've been. He wouldn't have the. If he was brown, he wouldn't have the um the, the promoted promotions behind mm -hmm. him like that. 
Him and being I'm glad ginger, the Russians, really. Uh, what's the name? Bivol beat the brakes out that fool straight down the pipe with the one two. Go that fool couldn't stop it, bro. Overpowered. Hey, hey dude, fighting Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo. And, May and Mayweather took him to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mayweather put his ass in Mayweather University. Oh, Mayweather. And Canelo's still to trying to get his uh, his credentials uh, mm -hmm. just to graduate that school because since that he didn't have footwork, he hasn't really been able to get his PhD. From the Mayweather okay. University, no matter how much Mayweather footage he watches, mm -hmm. no matter how many classes he attends at Mayweather University, his feet were never fast enough for him to really graduate with a PhD. So Man. he had to stop oh, after Mayweather. a bachelor. It's just crazy. I don't think I can say for Canelo, he got smarter after the Mayweather fight and his head movement improved. But I said that his footwork wasn't his footwork wasn't on par. Hey, y'all think Terrence he definitely Crawford studied Canelo. at the Mayweather University, but his his potential IQ wasn't his ceiling wasn't as high as other boxes because of the footwork mm -hmm. he has slow feet he had his feet have stuck to the floor but he couldn't get his phd he could only get his he, he, he's flat with it i don't judge I don't him Canelo, I feel Canelo like a draw scammer, versus Canelo. Mexico, so bro like, listen, listen, ernesto i'm not a Canelo hater i love Canelo. i don't I'm tired of that bro, fool, bro. Mm -hmm. always be always saying that four he, losses dude so mm -hmm. i'm tired of that fool Canelo. he ain't never done nothing for me <laughs> I'm, tired of him. I'm tired of him too, man. I just need to see him fight Benavidez. All this other bullshit. Uh -huh. I'm done with. Bro, get me Mike Tyson. Uh, the same count he ate. And watch how I beat the Beat Castillo the first time, then whooped him even worse the second time. You think he'll whoop Canelo? Yeah. yeah he Canelo, did I ain't never seen you box. You gotta, show, you gotta show me some. You got some on your page? That's what I'm, no, that's what I'm saying. Give me one year with Tyson training me. And give Hell no, nah. you still gonna get back. <laughs> 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 West Coast, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't friends in the gun. Give me the same count. West Coast, I'm grinding with you, West Coast, Mexico. man, because I do buy. No, if look, you bro. never boxed yeah. before and you think it's gonna take you a year, you would go in there and Canelo would probably end you, man. And I'm not, and I don't even like, like Yeah, you bro. probably would, bro. I'm 17. But you better lift me up, bro. Around. You better be on my uh, my corner. Don't let me catch you. What weight class you fight at? What weight class you fight at? West Coast. Bro, the, I mean, I I ain't even in shape right now, bro. Don't ask me my weight. Yeah, Damn, I'm, I'm 215 pounds. I mean, I'll be having a man. You heavyweight, cuz what the hell? You hold on, hold on. Somebody said Mungia has some of the best power at 168. I'm Stop. Stop. Don't, don't, read, don't read stupid comments, man. Don't read Mungia. Hey, 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 what weight you fight at? 44 and 0 or 43 and 0 now, mm -hmm. and he has a bunch of tomato tomato cans on his resume. But I, I do have a two inch reach advantage on him. Bro, Yo, you West sound Coast, so bro. dumb. <laughs> West Coast. West Coast. Uh, What's up? What's you up? Ain't with, you ain't fucking with Canelo, bro. Hey, 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 what way you fight at, bro? No, that's what I'm saying. You can't underestimate. I, I fight at 154, man. West I'm, Coast. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the worst oh. of the um, both worlds. I'm Puerto Rican and Mexican, bro. And you know we warriors up in the ring. Yeah, well, the the Puerto Rican and the Mexican in you will get that ass beat. If you, <laughs> you can you need years upon years upon training to beat someone like Canelo. Yeah, no, it's all good, bro. I can take an L. I'm man enough to take an L, but you better be in yeah, my. Y'all think brother. Terrence Crawford? No, you're not gonna take an L, bro. You're gonna get Canelo. killed, brother. You're gonna die. Do, do you have um? Let me ask you. Do you have medical seconds. insurance? You covered? You got medical insurance and everything? I got government insurance. I mean, the bare. Okay, so do you have life insurance? No. Hell no. Nah. Okay, so don't fight Canelo because your your parents not gonna get nothing after they got a burial. Right? Before oh. you fight Canelo, get your life insurance so at least your family could be well off. Facts. You know I mean? He gonna kill your ass. <laughs> nah, bro. All I'm gonna, all you gotta do is do the same thing Dimitri did. And I want to see. Look, hey, 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 it ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. I don't remember. You're gonna get tired eventually, man. I'm stronger. It ain't that easy. Hey, you think Terrence Crawford have a chance to beat Canelo? No. No, it's no, 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 no. Now, I mean, if, if they was in the same like, weight class, I got him. But yeah, if they was in the same weight class, we'll punish him because of yeah. the footwork. Facts, what, but what Canelo, I think, I don't know, Canelo a little too big, but Bud more skilled though. I can say that. Yeah. What, what weight is Canelo right now? One seventy five. No, what right now, on this Canelo one sixty eight. Right now, Canelo, I don't be worrying about his weight. He more of like, remember when Lil Wayne came out that mixtape? Sorry for the weight. That's Canelo right now because. This motherfucker making us wait for him and Benavidez. He said it out his own own mouth. He said, I'm gonna make David wait a bit because the fight is bigger when you wait. No, 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 no. That fight is big right now. Nobody wanna hear the bullshit. He's trying to wait for David Benavidez to not be able to make weight anymore. He's trying to make David outgrow the weight class and duck that man. Nobody really wanna see him versus Jaime Munguia. That's just what it is. I wanna see him That's against the best, bro. And, 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 and if anything, this movie can't beat neither one of them. He, so there's nothing. There's no 
uh, there's no feeling of doubt. There's no feeling of the unknown. We know Canelo gonna knock yeah. out Mugia. Yeah. His fans are so toxic and so childish. They don't want to see their king really tested and put under pressure. They would rather see him just get knockouts until he retires or get, nah, get wins until he retires. No lie, bro. I ain't, I ain't never been. They don't want, they don't want another yeah. biffle happening to him. Yeah, Not because it hurt, him too, it hurt him too bad. I mean, God, look, we all like Errol Spence in the black community. We had to deal with that trauma. Nah, so y'all hey, don't have every night. Nah, I had, I had, I'm tired. to deal with that fucking trauma, man. Benavidez is going to put y'all through trauma. Ain't going to lie. I, I had Bud. Ain't going to lie. <laughs> I want $100 off that Bud fight. <laughs> no, but I'm saying the, the people who like uh, Spence, uh, not even just the black community, just period, but the, especially Texas, the people who like Spence, they was hurt, bro. No, mm -hmm. I like Spence, bro, but he went out like a warrior, bro. I got mad respect for that. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. respect, Spence. True. I'm just True. saying I got that. For Spence too. I'm saying that the bro, way that people, no, he didn't come back for real. Fight, that's hey, how they're gonna feel after the Benavidez fight, bro. Sp uh, Spence would be at 154 if he come back, right? Did he say some I, shit like that? Yeah, 154. Hopefully. I think he got brain damage for real. Damn, Crawford beat the dog shit out of him. He got like progressive. Still possible. Yeah. If y'all leave it, make sure y'all tap in the screen. He, he need he need to um stay away from Crawford, um Spence. He just need to stay away. No, nah, he, he can't go out like that, man. He got to go out better Low than key, that. I think Crawford, 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 I really think I really believe it. In the same weight class, yeah. He, he, he got the, he got that. That. Yeah. Chin, done, man. It's gonna happen though. Yo, Restless, what's up, man? What's good? What's good? Uh, what you think about this, man? Hami Mungia, he beat John Ryder, and all of a sudden, Canelo well, got worked on by Sean Porter. But Sean Porter Canelo. got stopped, though. But Benavides has been Canelo's nice. mandatory for years, and Canelo trying to give a shot to uh, Hami Mungia. And then you could anybody can see this coming. I said I made a video about this mm -hmm. two weeks ago in in a video bro, about this yesterday. This dude Leo, he don't know what he talking. He don't know what, what about boxing at all, bro. Bro, I'm mean, talking about some bug got worked on by Sean Porter, but Sean Porter, bro, you don't know, you don't know, get this dude out the live, bro. You want to let Restless answer the question? Where Restless? Well, I mean, Blue Gill can't, can't, can't mess with Canelo, man, and that's why they picking him because they know that's an easy fight for Canelo. Uh -huh. So, and and on top of that, Canelo is scared of Benavidez. He's not finna do anything to 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 push that fight at all. Uh, uh, yeah, bro, like I he, said, can he can just say today. He can say today, I want to fight Benavidez. The fight will get announced next week. You know? He said what? If, if he Canelo says, fight Benavidez, that's easy work. For who? For who? For Canelo. Uh, he, really? He for <laughs> oh, on, bro. Nah, bro. I'm that's easy that work that's for easy work. Wait, 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 wait. I know what happened. I know what happened. Everybody talking at the same time in your brain, it made you... Rep I got these pictures of Benavidez and Mungia up. You mixed the two. What you meant to say was if Canelo fight... Jaime Munguia, that's easy work. Because I would agree with you 100% if that's what you meant to say. Because that's easy work. Canelo's going to knock that motherfucker out. That motherfucker's going to have no defensive responsibility. Mm -hmm. He reaches, he leaves his chin open, so he don't give a damn. He's going to get knocked out versus Canelo. It's going to be way worse than what happened to John Ryder. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, my God. Dude, I'm, I'm sick of Canelo, bro. Why are we talking about Canelo when we saw him get the beat, like, beat down by uh, Dimitri? Well, we because Dimitri. you don't like Bibble you don't like Bibble when I box Benavidez either. No, no, no. Bibble wouldn't. Bibble would lose to Benavidez. You saw that sparring Absolutely. session? Go oh, look at the picture that I just put up in the video I just put up. Man, like, that's sparring. That shit was years ago. Bibble, and Bibble, Bibble had that look on his face like, oh, this dude, he's serious, man. This dude good. Benavidez put hands on Bibble in that sparring mm -hmm. board. He was a teenager. Now he's a full. Bro, I think I think Benavidez is gonna move up. He lost to Triple G five. too. The first fight. Well, well better, guess what? Well, better be if again then fuck it. Yeah, better be if better be if probably get him. I agree. Whoever, yeah, no, be it's just agree. style makes fights, man. Style makes fights. That's mm -hmm. facts. We know that. I can't argue with that. How you comparing? Well, whoever become on the speed that was. End of the day. At the end of the day, sparring it doesn't necessarily mean that's how the fight's gonna go. But sparring matters to some degree. If I spar a guy, right, and I'm busting that ass, nine times out of ten, that's how the fight is going to go. I'll give you an example. Timothy Bradley sparred a young Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford beat the brace off Bradley. Bradley told him right after the sparring, yeah, you're going to be champ, yo. You're going to be champ. Basically, that's him saying, yeah, you just fucking me up. I'm a, champ. I'm a world champion. So if you could do this to me, boy, you're going to be a fucking monster. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So this happens in, in gyms all across the world. And certain guys, if they don't hit, if they don't have a promoter behind them, you would never know that they was in there fucking up the champion. Aaron Pryor, there are rumors that Aaron Pryor used to be fucking Sugar Ray Leonard up, but Sugar Ray never gave him a shot. 
Bivol, I think Bivol, Rob he has the heart that he's actually going to give Benavidez a shot, but Bivol is going to lose that fight. And when you look uh-huh. at the picture of them after the spar, not only was David Benavidez a larger man than Bivol, but Bivol had that look on his face like, yeah, man, this kid is something serious. Benavidez is a way bully. Whooping on my ass. Paul. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That ain't a weight bully. That's why I think you'll he a weight bully, but he's gonna be a weight bully at light heavyweights. But he he gonna beat uh, Bivol, bro. No, yeah, he, my he nigga better be, be able to get him. Russian? Yeah, Russian. That's what I'm saying. That's when like us as Hispanics and blacks as warriors, we gotta come together, bro, and figure out how we're gonna take out these Russians. <laughs> and, and what they doing? <laughs> That's what we should do in the UFC, buddy. That's what we should do in the UFC. These Russians ain't no joke. They're taking over in the UFC. It's uh, oh it's shit, yeah, fuck, man. man. I think every division has one version of like a Russian, and it's just getting too much, you know. Bro, Russians be dominating every fight sport, bro. For real. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, a lot of the Russians, bro, they got so much power. And um, so I, don't, I don't know if it's natural or if they want something. No, bro, they just train for. I mean, the- hey, hey, Russia bro. Hey, it, man. See, you see, see, like- just said Canelo has no more power. Come on, bro. No, Canelo okay. got power. You just yeah, get power. He has one punch knockout power, but he's getting older. So when he has a guy hurt, he can't push the pace. Like Jaime Munguia, you saw how he hurt uh, John Ryder, and he could ke- he could keep summoning that power and those combinations over and over. He's a young man. Canelo's old, and he didn't age like Floyd. He was out there drinking. He already doesn't have the best gen- genetics. Mm-hmm. Thanks. He, 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 and like, same bro. with Bud, because listen, Bud is older than Canelo, and you see how he did Spence. Yep. When he got Spence hurt, he got him out of there. It depends on how you live. It depends on how you dedication, live. dedication, buddy. Let me, let me ask you. Yeah. Let me ask you. Canelo is drinking and everything. Bud doesn't smoke or drink. Canelo drinks, parties a lot. Look, bro, Canelo, Look, he waited until he was 34 years old before he smoke. stepped in the ring with him. Come no, on, We bro. all know that Arrow didn't take Bud seriously, so. Man, hell no, nah, Bud. Bro, he it, did, it, bro, he, but. Arrow took Bud serious, but it's the difference between a man who gets in shape for a fight and a man who stays ready year-round. It's his fault if he's not fo- focused. He's talking about some you don't know any of this, bro. Canelo's a drinker and a party. That's not fuck, you what? don't have to be his, yeah, you don't have to be an inside drink. man to know that about Canelo. That's what he does. Well, he yeah, exactly. right. That's his business. Who drink though? He has his own drinking company. You know that, right? All right. And he and and he doing that good ass nose nose powder, bro, from Mexico. Trust me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oscar Dylan yeah. Fishnets. Oh, Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> King. That's what Rowley called him. <laughs> so, so. Hey, hey, who you got? Oh, yeah, I asked you about that bro. fight. Who you got? Rowley or Pitbull? Bro, Pitbull, oh, yeah, I, got I told you I got, I got Cruz, man. I got, he, 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 I got, I got he Cruz. Has Rowley much, has no he chin. He has a much better structure than Rowley. Cruz is going to come forward with a bunch of aggression. He has a way better chin than Rowley. Way better. He saw Cruz to this day is the only man that was able to stand up to Tanks Davis' power, meaning not only he was not knocked down or knocked out. Every other man has been knocked down. No, or hey, hey, out. hey, hey, KJ, there was this dude on his record. Uh, his name was Ivan something. He, he went he went the distance with Tank. Yeah, uh, but he got knocked. You didn't hear what I just said. He got knocked down twice. Yeah. And, oh, and Tank, Tank was fighting with one, one hand in that fight, too, when he fought Pitbull. Look, the right. hand didn't get her to the ninth round. Right. Pitbull took a lot of clean shots by Tank. Exactly. I, I can't Pitbull, find that the fight anywhere. Tank hand broke in the first yeah, You can't find the fight with Ivan, but you can look it up on Box Red. The dude got dropped twice in the fight against Tank. Pitbull is the look, only man to never be knocked dude. down or knocked out. And he he's, he's a good better than the bro. Look at his head. They should, they should run that shit back, bro. Pitbull and uh, Tank. No. I want to see that shit. Hey, make sure if you're in here, y'all tap in the screen. Nah, there. Everybody one of them will definitely get knocked out if they rematch. Tank and Pitbull. I ain't gonna lie, though. I don't even know why they made the Pitbull versus Roly fight. Roly just got that's power. A great fight. What the hell would you hey, mean by that? You don't know why they made that? That's a good bet for um Pitbull. Man, Ryan ain't that's never getting that, Ryan ain't never getting that, though. Let me explain to you because you said you don't know. I'm going to break it down to you. Not only is it an action packed fight because both of these guys are offensive fighters, but this will give Pitbull a way to step step up to 140 and have a world championship belt. And then Tank Davis could jump up to 140, rematch Pitbull, make a bunch of money, and it'll be an interest for him to doesn't have to fight someone who's really larger than him at 140 for his first fight. Because Pitbull is undersized for 140 and so is Tank. But if Tank can go up and get a belt from Pitbull, it's perfect. Because what is what's one of the uh, one of the ways that people discredit Tank? They say Tank he's not even a champion. He doesn't fight for belts. He fights for money. So he could jump up to one forty, grab a belt, just like Devin. It's up. Devin fought a real hundred forty pounder. Tank will be fighting a guy who's pretty much his size, a guy who's pretty much a lightweight that's just going up. So it's perfect for everybody. 
Let me ask you. Well, even then, bro, they gonna they gonna criti- they gonna criticize team though, bro. They gonna be like, oh, you can fight Pitbull at 140, but you can't fight Devin yeah. at 140. No, he's gonna have to fight De- De- Devin and Tank are gonna have to see each other, or or Tank or Shakur. It's too Devin. much talent to where Tank. There's nowhere for them to run. Tank is at the top of the sport. He's where Canelo is. It's just that he doesn't get the same credit because he doesn't have the same resume. But as far as name recognition, um money that he's making and shit like that, and the the, the fans wanting to see him fight popularity. Tank is there. He's right there. So what does that mean? Even if he doesn't fight Haney, he's going to have to fight T.O. Sabriel. He's going to have to fight Shakur. He's going to have to fight somebody with respect yeah. and a name in order for people to take the fight serious. That's the position he's in now. Of course. In my opinion, the best black, they're not gonna, uh, since Tank is black, they're going to put more pressure on him than Canelo. Like, they let Canelo get away with these fucking Jamal Charlo and how many yeah. more fights. Yeah. They're the not going to take Crawford right now, bro, is Crawford, bro. Hands down, in my opinion. Yeah, I knew he to retire. Bro. Yo, don't you guys find it huh? crazy? I want to say something. Somebody if, said Tank want to fight middle school. If is anyway, a Japanese fighter beat Earl Spence, he would have been fighter of the year. That's all I'm saying. I know you ain't talking about it anyway. But yeah, come I'm on, saying, bro. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Bro, bro what? He's too small. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Anyways, it's not even in the division. You guys misunderstand me. Let's just say in a different universe. Yo, you know who won, Gio. You know Mo Mo be right. In writer, a different bro. universe. Oh, we need Carmel no, versus Inway. Something, something. Uh-huh. Take scare, what? Carmel versus Inway is the next fight to make. Bro, look 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 Carmel hey, Carmel not, not experienced hey. enough. Hey y'all look at Carnell's picture, bro, in the background. You gonna tell me that motherfucker don't look like he got an extra chromosome? Man, listen. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, it, nah, it, it, it look like he looking out for Ben to be there. Uh, I'm just playing. Yeah, I know it look it, no, it look like Canelo thinking to himself, damn. Jaime, you did a great job tonight. That's the face of you. Have to you did a great job for Mako. <laughs> you did a great job for me. Yeah. And now I don't have to fight that big motherfucker up in the video. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker need to grow up to light heavyweight. I don't need to fight him. Look at that. Okay? I don't trust that fool. Look at stupid ass face. Let me ask you a question. Why do that? Why do y'all think that everybody plays nice with Canelo? Only He's the face of life. Only person that didn't play nice with Canelo was. Fucking um, Floyd. No, 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 no. It was um, Caleb. Oh. oh, what do you mean play nice? Like they don't speak speak down? No, them? like when they hurt him or something, they they don't jump down on him. They get up off of him, and let him get back. I mean, Caleb Plant. I'm gonna be honest with you. He never hurt Canelo. No, he was out boxing him for the first four rounds. But he didn't hurt him. Right. I'm saying, but he he Yo, was, let, he was the line bro. towards Canelo. Hmm. He was the most disrespected toward Canelo. He didn't give a fuck about Canelo. That's a, bro. You mean the Caleb Plant that was trying to get Canelo's autograph and approval in the middle of the fight? You don't think that he he didn't give a fuck about Canelo? Are <laughs> oh, you talking about? He was like, oh, you like this? I'm nice, right? That shit. Yeah, when he said, uh, "Am I a good fighter?" Hey, Dad. <laughs> he respected him. You know what I'm Daddy, am I good? <laughs> he respected him in the ring, but outside the ring, when he. That's not that's not even respect, that's bro. Dick that's dick writing, buddy. That's dick writing. Listen, I box, bro. I'm never gonna look over at my opponent asking him my good. I'm oh gonna God. be looking at that. I'm gonna so, so so beat y'all ass. That one for that. Crawford or some shit. You know, go. You know, go. Man, hell no. Nah, Crawford ain't gonna get no fuck. He gonna he in killer mode. Yeah, Crawford. Yeah, Crawford already said if Crawford fought for Canelo, he would probably get knocked out because Crawford said before he allows someone to do what they want to do to him in there, it's gonna be a dog fight. So basically, we would never see him do what Jamel Charlo did against Canelo. He's going to go in there trying to win. And that probably would yeah, get him knocked out. You know, I, I, I got 20 on top. No, like no I don't say everybody me. boxes nowadays. You could go watch, look at me fighting KGI TV in action. And your name is Sosa TX, TX or Texas. I don't know. But I, nine times out of ten, I know I can't find you boxing. No hey, way, so. KJ, what's your style? Like, if you want to box, you can bring your ass to Baltimore. Hey, what type of style you like box. you like to use? No, I ain't no what weight class. Keep talking that shit. All right, move on. What was you saying, Kawaki? I said, what like style you like to fight as? Like hit or not get hit, Yo, or a brawler, or what you? If you go watch my fights, KJI TV and action, you see me do all type of shit. You see me fighting on the inside, outside, whatever. I just got that bitch trying to win. What's your record? And, and sick. This dude does not box. Okay, everybody that go on y'all little troll thing, I'm letting you know you getting blocked. Yeah. But I don't got time for that shit. My fights are right here on TikTok. <clears throat> but yo, like I was saying, back to the back to the real topic. Crawford is not they scared of no that, fucking. They said I'm a runner, but really, the man that they worship, the man that they think is so good, is running from the man on my left, which is David Benavidez. And then 
the fact that they're going to try to justify Jaime Munguia being able to fight Canelo because of him beating John Ryder is bullshit. Like, but we still have hope, it's, though. It's, it's horrible for the sport, man. Mm -hmm. But Canelo does not like Oscar De La Hoya. What if he, like, does not work with, uh, want to work with the Oscar De La Hoya, though? Are you crazy? This is the best thing that could happen to Canelo. Mm -hmm. He don't give a fuck about working with Oscar. He doesn't care. I mean, first of all, Canelo signed with the PBC. Mm -hmm. The PBC just worked with De La Hoya for the Ryan Garcia fight. Floyd Mayweather is not nowhere near as emotional or uh, race based in his thinking than, than someone like a Bob Arum or even an Oscar De La Hoya. PBC, they trying to get money. Al Heyman, they trying to get money. So they'll put personal differences aside. What are you talking about? We hate Don Canelo, bro. Canelo, a whole drug cheat. Get the fuck out of here. We're, yeah, we're they spitting they facts, Listen, bro. People, they, this world and all together is not about who's the best. It's about who we like and whoever we like, that's what we're going to defend to the death. We don't care if this man is an honest man or not. We don't care if this man is, is really what he says he is or if this man is a cherry picker or if this man is scared. We like him, so we're going to defend him. That's what this world is about. A lot of these people are emotional. I mean, you got a lot of people coming from single mother households nowadays. Like, so it's all pride, bro. They, they hate bro. to see their, 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 their boy go down. And they yeah. know him personally. They're idolaters. They idolaters. And they want to like, turn a blind eye to all the bullshit this motherfucker be pulling and shit. Like, we, we idiots. <clears throat> Where can I see you box? All you have to do is go to a tab on TikTok and say, take the ITV in action. But listen, if Floyd would have lost to um, Shane Mosley, I would have been like, damn, Floyd lost. Floyd is one of my favorite boxers. I wouldn't have been like, no, nah, fuck that. Shane did this. Shane did this. Bro, no. Floyd, like, Shane Mosley would have knocked Floyd down four or five times instead of just getting that uh, those two good shots and then he was able to outbox him. I would have made him like, for damn, good life. Floyd lost. Now, and Nello fans, they can't bring themselves hey, to do but that. But be honest, though, that, like that Floyd Mayweather fight like, versus the, what's his name from, like, where was he from? Venezuela or some shit. Who you talking hey, about? Hey, um, the thing you said about Canelo fans, you can say the same about Tank Davis fans, bro. They not going Yeah, Tank, they, Tank fans, they get mad if you if you criticize. Like me, I think Lomachenko would beat Tank um, right now or, or four years ago. That's just me. But I sure, still think Tank no. is one of the yeah. hardest hitting lightweights ever. And I still think Tank has potential to be a Hall of Fame boxer, like somebody that people talk about for a long time, but he has to fight the big names. But yep. I still think Lomachenko would beat Tank. KJ, and get mad at that. You, you box, right? So you, I'm sure you know boxing real good. You know what I mean? Probably way better than me. But I'm gonna ask you your personal opinion. I'm not going. I'm not going. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to agree with that. Just because I box don't mean I know boxing more than you. No, but I don't know what you. You mean. know, you know, so, you, you know, like the technical you. side. I can't say I've ever boxed or anything like that. So I'm, I, I'm asking you for your personal opinion. Do you not like agree when I say that uh, Floyd May Mayweather he lost to that dude that from Venezuela or whatever his name was? Are you talking about Castillo Marco? or Madonna? About Ma Madonna. Madonna. Bro, he lost. Yeah, well, no, bro, he won, the he first fight they could have gave. They could have gave the first fight to Madonna. But I hate to break it to you, this shit happens in boxing. Madonna didn't do enough. Maybe he would have got a knockdown on Floyd. They could have really gave it to him. But Floyd Mayweather, uh, whether people like it or not, he's the pay-per-view king. So they're not going to allow no fucking Madonna to beat Floyd just off of yeah, a exactly. pretty good, a pretty decent performance. And if Madonna really wanted to submit the fact that he beat Floyd just like Castillo, he would have beat him in a rematch. Uh -huh. Every controversial decision that Floyd ever had, he gave the other fighters the opportunity to win every time. Right, and every right. time Thanks. he, he gave him a rematch. Bro, and then daughter, the rematch was not as competitive for him. So it doesn't matter if he did win the first fight. He's not better. He couldn't do that shit twice. Castillo and Madonna better lost Nate. worse the second time. Hmm? Like they, they, it was close the first time. No, they ain't they no damn track star. If you can't cut out the ring, your ass. <laughs> Most of Floyd's fights were fought was fought in the pocket. Exactly. Uh, the only reason y'all see the track star because a lot of people are race fans, and it's okay because boxing is a, a tribal sport, a racial sport. So I don't get mad at y'all for saying that, but Man, when you look at the way that Floyd fought, he fought most of his fights in the pocket. The people that say that, bro, are the people who get mad because they favor fighter can't hit Floyd. Yeah, well, a lot of the Mexicans they hate Floyd because Floyd. If you look at his box rep, all he did was terrorize Mexicans. Like, <laughs> it's Fair. crazy. Like, that's his uncle was the box rep is just Mexicans, that's just him whooping their ass. Bro, Tank do the same shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's, Tank. They, that's because, because he's trying to PVC. That's because they have a uh, they have a system that they're trying to do with Tank, but Tank he messing up because he's too old to not have certain marquee fights on his on his resume. So they kind of Tank a little bit behind the the, the ball. That's Somebody what, named Drake want to come up. I don't know. Hey, the, uh, I, I don't trust Tank, bro. I really don't. Yo, Drake. I don't hey, how do y'all feel? How do y'all feel? 
that Mayweather is is pushing Tank's career back. How do y'all feel that he's not giving the fight? Mayweather is not pushing Tank's career back. What, yeah, what do you mean? Mayweather is the best thing that ever happened to Tank Davis. Yeah. If it wasn't, if Tank wasn't signed to PBC, there's a lot of guys out here with, with a lot of power. But if Tank wasn't signed to PBC, if Floyd wasn't going to some of Tank's early fights and talking for him, uh -huh. getting some of his buzz to go over to Tank, people would not really know who Tank is. Okay, so Absolutely. who the fuck does he fight? Mayweather is the best thing to happen. That's how I knew Tank, Tank from. Can we not get Devin Haney? And him in Saudi Arabia, we would love to see that. But of course, he's not gonna go over there. He wants a Lamborghini. He wants some. He wants something. Nah, hey, he wants the Ferrari. Tank would just he wants the Ferrari from them. Like friends. you can't take that that uh, uh, tweet too personal. Tank was just talking mm -hmm. trash. Yeah, I guess they uh, must have did something to he offend talks, him. He, he, he talks about talk anything shit. except you know the fight. You know he wants to. You know that's what he that's what he get, wants to get at. You know. You know he has to. Get I want to see that fight over. bad, bro. But, Yo, but he's Greg, not gonna give it to us. He's gonna fight some. He's probably gonna fight fucking. He's gonna probably fight. What's his name again? The the guy that got knocked out by Garcia. That not Garcia. Fuck. What's Rayo, his name? Hector Rayo, Garcia. What's his name? What's his name? Rayo. Rayo. He's gonna fight some. some yeah, he's gonna fight that. Dude. He definitely That's will totally take what he's gonna, he's gonna fight. I don't know, man. It's talks about him and Frank Martin, which would be a much better fight. Like I just but then they also bro, then, then some leaks also just came out saying he finna fight. Frank will get dominated. Oh, oh, you're talking about Frank Martin? Like, who, who like Frank Martin? They also or, said Tank gonna fight in the summer uh, in the UK. Oh shit! Frank will get dominated. That, that Devin Haney and that Tank fight. I'm gonna tell y'all what they're gonna do. They're gonna do exactly what they did with Spence Crawford. So Fact. they can push that shit mm -hmm. back, and so they can build up the fight and get a big payday. Man, they no, the been doing it already, already though. Right now. Like, definitely. That is the thing, bro. They they need to stop doing that mm -hmm. because we don't even know if these dudes gonna stay undefeated. Look at look at Joshua and Wilder and Fury. If they would have fought years ago, the fight would have been much bigger. Billion, so now the AJ and the Wilder fight it doesn't have the same spunk at all. Like AJ and the Tyson Fury fight doesn't have the same spunk. Like Tyson Fury, all these bitch losing the MMA fighters. They did a lot for Usyk twice already. Deontay Wilder just lost to Joseph Parker. I mean, the, the fight, fights with Fury, you can excuse because Fury is another great um, heavyweight in the era. But losing to Joseph Parker and the way that he looks and sounds nowadays, he doesn't really seem up for a fight with Anthony Joshua. So them waiting for all these fucking fights is not smart. A lot of these dudes going to get losses and it's going to take away from um, the energy that was already there. Why not make your first loss against someone else who's young Crawford. and vibrant and dangerous? Crawford. 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 Man, Crawford Leonard killed Tank. It was yeah. great. So you, you really don't want to see you see Rich Theory? They say Crawford versus bro. Tank. Man, Crawford I got a killed question for the host. Crawford is right now. What is Crawford that play? Play? Is the question it's for the host. So let's say this guy Tank, you know, obviously he's not going to fight Devin without a rehydration clause. And a catch weight, some bullshit. Like that. Hey, hey listen, guy. listen, KJ. I seen more. somebody say Crawford should fight Tank. So if he's not gonna fight Devin at one forty, he not more oh. definitely gonna fight Crawford, who's bigger than Devin. Come on, yeah, we already know that. I don't even know why you're saying that. Come on, don't read stupid comments, guys. Come on. Who would win? Who would win? Devin Haney and Tank at one forty, but Tank wants a rehydration, so they meet in the middle. I'm not, yeah. Devin said no rehydration. Devin said no rehydration. So let's just say, let's just say, guess what? Guess what? Let me tell you something too. Isak Cruz, the, who is smaller than Tank, he's going up to 140 to fight Roley. So guess what? Nobody want to hear about no rehydration and no weight, catch weights and shit for Tank. Like all that shit is over. Well, yeah, Baby Isak Cruz jumped up to 140. That's why he's smaller than Tank. Fought at 140 against Barrios, yeah. so he's gonna have to just go up to 140 and make it do to do. Exactly. If he could beat him, he could beat him. If not, then not. And the that's thing about it is, Cruz smaller than Tank too. That's the crazy part. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I mentioned. That's why I got Isak Cruz is smaller than Tank. Fighting each other, uh, fight, fighting like. What's his name again? This guy, or what's his name? Roly Romero. Like, this guy just speaks out of his ass every day on Twitter on who he's gonna fight. He posts a picture of Ryan Garcia. Posts a picture of some short bald next. No, Romero is about to fight Cruz. Yeah, of course he is. We don't want to see that. But you know, no, that's a hard ass fight. What do you, what do you mean? You of course he is. That's, that's not what we wanted to see. Cruz is zealous though. No, fuck that. This is better than the Ryan Garcia fight. Oh, Cruz is hard. Is a more uh, a class. tougher boxer than Ryan Garcia. This is a harder fight for Roly. I mean, what do you, what do you, what, what more do you want? Yeah, Cruz is Cruz and Crawford, bro. Would be a sick ass fight. I'm Ryan, bro. Y'all think Roly got a chance? Saying, okay, okay. Listen, listen. If Cruz, if Ro who, who else would you want Roly Romero to fight besides uh, Cruz? Ryan, Ryan Garcia. 
Ryan Garcia isn't on the level of Eastside. Ryan Garcia Green. ain't nothing, bro. Don't even bring that fool's name up. He's not Ryan Garcia, I'm gonna be honest. Why you gonna fight? They both trash. Ryan ain't gonna hit them with that Philly shuffle he did hit last fight. He better stop playing. <laughs> Ryan got dropped, bro. He dropped his knees. I mean, I don't. I, I see. These guys at PBC, like these guys at PBC, they just be getting Al Heyman, just be getting these fighters, throwing them together. Oh, it gets Eastside, makes them go up. Post some old man Thurman, puts it as the main event. He's the A side. Dude, he's gonna get. Yeah, you know, I don't understand. Like, what what kind of like event is going on here? Like, and then people are expecting. It, the, I mean, they fucked up with the main card. They should have made Roley and Cruz the main card. But let me tell you something, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, first off, I understand what he's doing. You know why? Tim Zhu is what? He's Australian. Yep. Right? Exactly. So get, even though we don't fuck with this fight, I bet you them Aussies, they're going to pay for that shit. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're doing. That's why it's the main card. Yeah, Tim's good job. Fight. Fight. Number two. Fight. Good. He thought, uh, Pitbull Cruz versus um, Ro Roly Romero is one of the toughest challenges of uh, Roly's fight, or Roly's <laughs> career. Because Roly, people already saw him get knocked out by Tank. You why couldn't the Ryan that, fight happen? 99% of the points. Hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. But when we saw him lose to the old man and get bailed out, that looked really, really bad. Really, so bad. the fact that he's coming back to fight somebody who hits just as hard as that old man, but is younger and throws more combinations, and is able to be more aggressive for 12 rounds, a man that can take a shot like most men can't, and Isak Cruz, this is going to be the most challenging period in Roley's uh, career. Yeah, and he's yeah. supposed to win this fight. If he loses this fight, he's going to lose his belt, and the PPC is pretty much going to use him as a gatekeeper. Never underestimate old man's strength, bro. Facts. All right, so look. <clears throat> So Ryan should fight Barroso. Back Man, to this hey, tank. I think Ryan will probably lose to Barroso. I think Ryan and Rolly were just a, a fucking rememberable fucking fight that's going to be. I think. Hold on. How should that I? That was the fight, fight to make. Happen, we'll be I think they got this a lot of history. Rem that's why people want to see that. History? Bro, Ryan Garcia, right now, people are looking at him as a C tier fighter, bro. Ryan ain't no fucking fundamentals, bro. He's ass. Okay, well, why does that? Why, okay, so what if he's a C tier fighter? Just like how y'all glaze tank. Oh, he gets he sells tank. Tank is not so, no, no, tank. Tank. You saw, tank. You saw is, the difference hey. between tank and Ryan, right? No, you saw not, the difference. He, the level. I'm not saying he's a C tier fighter. He fights C tier people. Okay, but I'm saying if you if if Ryan is a C C class fighter and tank demolishes that motherfucker. Then that means Tank yeah. is on a different level than Ryan. Okay. That's why people yeah. blaze Tank. Bro, what if level Ryan, level level tank, level all of the blazes of Tank will stop, what bro. The Mexicans would be able to take head so hard. If Ryan came and knocked on my door and tried to square up me, bro, I ain't, I ain't even scared whatsoever. Put it like hmm? that. Put it like I said that. I'm a C level fighter. That boy Ryan yeah. scared of Devin, boy. He don't even want to get in the ring with him. A lot of motherfuckers don't. I don't think Tank wants to get in the ring with Devin right right now. Yeah, Devin looks scary at 140. Nah, but I don't know. Nah, nah. Bro, take the He's just fighting old guys that are out of their primes. That's cap. Because half of those guys that he's fighting are at the top of the division. What are you talking about? But I'm just saying. Who, who, who fighting old guys? Regis Porgage. He's like 36 years old. No, I thought yeah. Regis was like 33. Bro, he's, he's, old, like, he's in his bro. early 30s. Hold on. Regis is just. Regis is not 36. Bro. Regis, is not, Regis, Regis is never had a chance because he had slow feet. Um, Loma was out of his prime, but Devin tried to fight him four years ago. So exactly. Who fought him? Devin tried to fight him but like years still, ago. He oh, didn't yeah. fight him four years ago. He fought him. No, Loma was the man four years ago. He told Devin no. Mm -hmm. They said, what has your son done? The only reason why Loma even got in there with Devin, because Loma was afraid of Devin. Uh, he was afraid of losing Devin because Devin is so much bigger than him. Loma really should be fighting at 130. Devin really should have been fighting at 140. Mm -hmm. So Devin was an oversized lightweight. Sort of like the Canelo David Benavidez situation. Same, same with Tiafimo. Tiafimo was reason, also bigger than Loma. Fast. The only reason why Loma even fought Devin Haney is because Devin became undisputed. Loma, his entire career, was unable to grasp that feat. So this was his last chance to become undisputed. He didn't give a fuck who he was I getting. I thought he was undisputed. No, he was never. He was unified. He never was undisputed. <laughs> wow. undisputed. Overrated. Ever, ever in his career. Every time he tried, he lost. So this is the, this is the last chance for him to become undisputed. And Devin had all the belts. That's the only reason Loma even wanted to fight Haney. Other than that, he would have avoided a Haney for his entire career. Thanks. T.O. was never undisputed because Loma asked to be franchise champion and Devin had the super belt. Yeah. 260 I still got Tank, though. I still got Tank. Tank over who? Devin Haney. Hell no. Not at no one. Tank, tank can knock out Haney, but I got Haney because of the way that thing's looking. Haney looking strong as hell. Uh -huh. Tank struggle with Barrios. Haney has faster feet than Barrios. Like this shit is basic. This is Tank is gonna have to turn into a whole different fighter stylistically 
in uh, order to beat Devin. So how are, be so how are all these Saudi team. guys making all these fights happen? From the first round. What? Huh? How are all these Saudi guys like in Saudi Arabia making all these fights happen? Money, people? money, yeah. money. They reach it. They reach it. The okay, throw money, everything money. in the king. Just think at Tank and Devin so they can go there, bro. Like, why? It's not going to happen. I know the fight's not going to happen, but it's, it's like, complicated. No, the bro. fight won't happen. The fight won't happen in probably two or three years. Bro, you know, like the Saudi Arabian government gave the sport directing departure of like that do every sports things like $20 billion to spend. All right, um, KJ, I'm going to get right. on out of here. All right, Kawhi, peace. All right. Look, man, um, Saudi Arabia got that oil. So they, they good. Mm -hmm. They got so much money, it's not fair. Their, their resources and um, their GDP, their economy, uh, they're doing much better than the U.S. A lot of the Middle Eastern countries, because of the natural resources that they're doing, as well as a lot of the African countries, they're doing much better than the U.S. right now. But they're making boxing like good, like actually like watching. And another reason you have to understand too, their culture, they have a masculine culture. In America, they really don't want boxing to be that popular. That's why they like basketball where, oh, everybody just scores. No one plays defense. Just accept everything, scoring, scoring. And boxing is it's so manly, it's so masculine, but America isn't really a masculine place anymore. So they don't really want to push that shit. Saudi Arabia, they have they live by a different set of laws. They actually, a lot of them are Muslim. Um, so over there, it's a patriarchal land. So they they love boxing. They love to see a motherfucker hit somebody in the face after talking shit. In America, it's a difference. They they hate to see you hit somebody in the face after talking shit. They they much rather you be trolled by somebody and allow that person to talk shit on you all day. Or you can empower people who really don't have that much power. The only viewers of boxing, the fans, is black and brown. Really, that's it. Are you talking about in America? Yeah. Well, it's white people that like boxing, but a lot of white people, they get uh, swallowed up, as TDJ said, by the UFC. I mean, what, what can we say about the UFC? I mean, like, they're, they're doing what they're doing. Like, they're doing the best. Like, they're doing their promotions. They're making the fights that these, you know, pe people that watch it want to see. Like, Dana ooh. White has a monopoly over the UFC. He also can pay them whatever he wants. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're... they're their shit works, their platform works, but at the end of the day, a lot of those fighters are getting robbed. Yo, soldier, what's good? Yeah, they're honestly, not getting honestly, paid. Honestly, boxing is more entertaining to me than you. Unless if you're on the top. I like both. If you're on, on I, mean, I like both. I just cover boxing yeah. more. Yeah. What you said about the uh, United States being feminine, bro, feminine, bro, that shit was true as fuck. Yeah, that's why, but that's this is where they fucked up at. United States, they want boxing to die as a sport, but they... They don't have control over different countries. They don't have control over China. They don't have control over Saudi Arabia. All these different countries have their own uh, nukes and shit, and they all have their own resources. The Saudi Arabians, a lot of them are Muslim. It is a patriarchal country. They will die before they give up that patriarchy. And that allows us American boxers to go over there and make money because they want to see that shit. They want to see somebody get hit in the face as a talking shit. Because in their country, you disrespect somebody, you get penalized. Or penalized, whatever the fuck you said. You you get DP'd over there. You saw what happened to that one woman over there. She went over there yelling in the street. They locked her ass up. Right. So that's what they. That's the timing that they on. Totally different than America. In America, boxing could be huge, but they don't want America to be a masculine place at all. That's why they want to push Same sports like basketball. And then football is all about scoring now too. The defenders could barely touch anybody. Same so it's all about. In America, it's all about letting right. somebody that's true. score on you without you being able to defend yourself. Same thing in life. They want they want you to allow people to talk shit to you. You can't hit them. You can't slap them. They want you to allow your kids to be able to say anything. So this is the country that we at. You see that guy, Mungia? How do you feel about his fight today? Man, that fight was good for Mungia, but it's John Wright. Yeah, like, who the fuck is John Wright, bro? Why are they putting it up like these people again? Like, I just hate it, bro. I hate that. Like, I like UFC more, bro. I don't give a fuck anymore, bro. I've watched two boxing. No, no, I understand. Long. I understand. Like, the UFC, has, he has a monopoly, and he can give the fans the fights they want mm -hmm. fast as hell. Boxing, they need someone to come and hold the sanctioning bodies accountable and hold the fighters accountable. Uh, But I'm be honest with you. That's never going to happen. Boxing has always been corrupt. It's going to stay corrupt. It's just that people are getting smarter now. We have social media. We're sharing information. So the average fan could could uh, keep up if they want to on what's really going on. They can like, get the real tea. Tim Zhu should be fighting Jermel right now. But of course, that guy's not going to come back until like 2029 because he just got a paycheck. You know, he doesn't care about the sport. He doesn't care about the fans. He just fought Canelo, fought like a pussy. He's not gonna, He doesn't care about the fans. That's just how they are. 
especially his brother is okay, but I mean they're both pretty bad. But they just they just fight for the money. He's not gonna come back. He's gonna come back probably like next year. God knows when. He's just you know. That's all they do, bro. Is, is they fight for the money, bro. That's all they care about. You know what I mean, boxing, 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 they train, fight the but at the end of the day, like let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All fighters are supposed to fight for money, right? It's prize fighting. But at the end of the day, you're supposed to have some type of integrity for the sport. Like Errol Spence, Errol Spence, he's the fucking truth for real. They call him the truth. He really is the truth because Errol, he didn't have to fight Terrence Crawford. He didn't have to give Crawford 50-50. But he gave up so much in order to make the fight happen, not only for the fans, but for himself. And it was great for the integrity of the sport. And, and although Earl got beat up, cool. he's really the, the real champion in, as far as the sport of boxing. He's nothing like Canelo, who's been ducking David Benavidez. He's nothing like Canelo. If Errol Spence was a super middleweight, he would fight somebody like David Benavidez just to see if he could do it. Because when he goes to sleep at night, he really believed he that man. Canelo, I don't believe that he believed that he that motherfucker. Because, hey, why why have you made David wait for all this time? Like for some reason, like like the weight classes around like Spence, Jermel, Jermel Charlo, Jermel Charlo, uh, like Crawford, like these guys, like they fight once a year. It's like, what? No, Keith Thurman, the guy, you know, it's Keith Thurman was holding up the division. Uh, it's over now. And plus, Sean, thank the Lord for Sean Porter. If it wasn't for Sean Porter, we wouldn't even have seen them motherfuckers fight uh, at all. But Keith Thurman was holding up the division because he didn't want to fight Errol Spence. Sean Porter was holding up the division because he didn't want to fight Errol Spence. Remember, Errol Spence, his first big fight was against Mikey Garcia, a man that had to jump up and wait just, to, just for a chance to not only get money because Errol puts asses in seats over in Texas, but just to see if he could be great. But the only reason he had to do that is because the guys around Errol, Sean Porter and Keith Thurman, they didn't want to give him a fucking shot. Yes. And Bud Crawford was on the other side of the street. He was the top rank. Bud would have fought Spence, but he was on the other side of the street. Oh. Bob Graham doesn't like doing business with Floyd. So there's a lot of bullshit, but mainly when fights don't happen, it's because the fighters really don't want them to happen. So, so that's why that, that weight class was um, held up for a minute. So, but that's over now. You see that Earl Spence, he, he pretty much cleared out all of that. He fought everybody besides Keith Thurman, who never wanted to fight him. And he fought Bud Crawford. So you can't really say fights aren't happening at welterweight. We just got one of the biggest fights and one of the most historical yeah, fights of all well, time. Uh, thanks, Earl Spence. Besides, besides Spence, who is this guy Crawford gonna fight? Because every time somebody brings up a name, he's like, oh, I don't want to fight him. Oh, he's a lose lose for me. I, I, I no, just I agree. Like, he, boots, 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 like boots. No, okay, let's but boots, boots like yeah, he's talking boots, about boots. He's boots like, don't have shit like, to offer Crawford. Like, boots, boots, like boots is like cool, like he's like he's decent, but like you know nobody knows who the fuck like like who, who's he? Thanks, like, I don't, I don't, who is. He doesn't. De- is that? That's he fault. doesn't deserve. He has the social media era. Bro, he not gonna. Like, he don't gain nothing for beating boots. Listen, if he, if he beat boots, he not he not gonna gain nothing. He, what he said was true. He was too young, you know. That excuse. Okay. You know. I, he said Look, it was like. Listen, I know Crawford, Keith Thurman. Fight, I know Keith Thurman hasn't fight, fought. Um, I don't Jermel, man. Go fight Jamel Charlo. Okay, I, okay, Jamel Charlo is cool. But like, I know Keith Thurman hasn't fought in like like six decades. But like, he he's the guy at the same weight class. He used to be champion. That's a that's a cool fight for him. But of course, he's not gonna give him the shot. Thurman because, and oh, I mean, he's old now, but like still, Thurman and Crawford. No, I would not. No, no, what's wrong with that bro, fucking bro, fight? Thurman will get his Listen, Tim Zhu is a good fight for Crawford. Jamel Charlo is a good fight. Crawford, it's time for him to go up to 154. It's great fights for him up there. And then go ahead and retire. Maybe if he wants to, he can fight Boots on his way out. Who knows? But Boots doesn't offer him no money. The man, Terrence Crawford has been a bad man for years. But his biggest fight has just came at the end of his career. He's 30, 35 or 36, just getting his first huge paycheck. So the rest of his fights are going to be all about money. And I don't blame him. He's been he's put he's put his life into boxing, but he hasn't been making money. I mean, he's on. I don't think, I don't think that Jamel fight's gonna happen because he's he undefeated. He's not, that's that's a thing. All right, I'll see you. What's up, State of Boxing? Hey, State of Boxing, I gotta give you a shout out. You was dropping so many gifts in here, not only to me but to people who came up in the chat, and uh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, what's up, bro? How you how you been, man? I'm a big I'm a big fan of your channel, bro. We we all Thank follow. You. I appreciate that, man. Mm-hmm. So who who is Boots gonna fight? Why didn't he fight Thurman? Why why, why did that fight not happen? Because Thurman is who running. The fuck, who the fuck is he gonna fight? fight? Huh? Boots, hey yo, Boots could just fight like um uh Virgil Ortiz or, or something like that. He's not. Like, he's gonna fight. I don't know. He gonna fight Stanionis. Fight Mario Mario. He gonna, he gonna fight Stanionis. That's his next fight, I think. And speaking of Sean Porter, I'm glad you brought that up. But uh, 
Because Sean Porter got his ass whooped by Tank. So Tank ain't scared of no Devin Haney. No, no, no. That's sparring. But you yeah, like, weren't you the one that just said that in sparring? If, if you whoop somebody ass in sparring, you can do it in a fight? Exactly. But you have to understand. Uh, you, yes, that's true. That's true. But let me break something down to you. Sean Porter is a guy where other boxers... Sean Porter makes fights look competitive. He shows up in shape, right? And But ultimately, Sean Porter was a football player turned boxer, and he wasn't uh, a wonderkin. He wasn't somebody that switched sports and was able to be as uh, skilled proficient as he was over in the football field. He was a hard worker, like Ken Norton type of guy, but he really wasn't never really no real boxer. Well, with me so other boxers, they could look at that and see that, and they could see his deficiencies as a boxer, so they start licking their chops and shit when somebody like Sean Porter comes. And the fans don't know the difference. They see Sean, he got the muscles, he has the aggression, he's in shape. You know, he looks the part, but really... He, he he never really was the part, but shout out to Sean Porter for having the heart to to fight these guys who were more skilled than him, guys who were into the sport way before him. Shout out to him. But but Tank knows that Sean Porter and Devin Haney that's like apples and oranges. Devin Haney has real footwork and he actually moves like a boxer. Devin Haney's built is nothing like Sean has a very short, stocky built, short arms. Haney has a long, fluid built, long arms. Haney could beat you with just a jab. Like it's, it it doesn't it doesn't compare, compare bro. And in sparring, remember they have on um, larger gloves, so he would not like let me clear that up. Let me clear that up. So basically, what I was saying was, they were saying that uh, Devin is too big for Tank, but I was I was saying that because he if he beat Sean Porter up, he's not scared of no one forty Devin Haney. Listen, in sparring they have on headgear and they have on larger gloves. Tank Davis struggled with Mario Barrios, a man who was uh, fighting at 140. Um, and, and after that Mario Barrios fight, Tank was saying shit like, I'm never going to fight at 140 again. After the Barrios fight, that's the reason why he made Ryan Garcia get the rehydration clause. Because Tank is a smaller fighter. Tank is a, ph a phenomenal fighter. He has one of the highest boxing IQs, one of the most underrated IQs in the skill sets in the world. But at the end of the day, his best weight class is uh, lightweight. Because he's only 5'5 five, five with a 67 inch reach. He is a small man. Who's so Tank's when he goes best win? 140, guys don't even have to be that much better than him. They could just use their size as an, as an advantage, like Devin Haney, and they could win like that. Barrios almost won just because he was bigger than Tank. That was a hell got of Another thing, too, about that situation. Even though Sean Porter, like, big and stuff like that, but he don't got the skills as Devin Haney. That's the thing. That's that's what Tank probably that's probably worried about. Yeah, he. Yeah, that's he, what I was saying, soldier. Like Sean Porter was a football player turned boxer, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of a lot of guys they were quick to jump in the ring with Porter because they knew, like, okay, this guy he he's aggressive. He's gonna be in shape. He's gonna make it look good to the fans. But this motherfucker not a real threat to me. I'm talking about the top guys. Sean could beat a lot of people. Like you saw Sean beat Broner, uh, and that was a really good fight. But Sean beat Broner because Broner wasn't dedicated and shit like that. But Broner was a more skilled fighter than Sean. But if you a dude dedicated and you and you super skilled, Sean not gonna be able to beat you. Mm -hmm. But shout out to Sean once again. He fought everybody. Sean he had a heart of a line. Uh, right. yeah, Tink did beat Haney and Spawn, but the second time they fought, uh, Haney beat him. Yeah, so they tied in Spawn. Yeah. Who the fuck cares about Spawn? Why can't they just get in the ring, man? Honestly, no. Nah, Spawn matters though because mm -hmm. Spawn could build up a fight. Spawn could. Uh, Errol Spence was famous after his sparring session with Floyd Mayweather. Uh -huh. I know the thing. Uh, Why people sparring. wanted to see Rory Romero versus Ryan Garcia is because of the sparring video of Rory yeah. Romero beating the. Sparring fuck. matters, man. Yeah, I, mean, I think Ryan would beat Rory because of that damn sparring. Ryan was landing that that left hook. Mm -hmm. His money, his money punch. And I don't know. Rory Romero is allergic to left hooks. He just no. He just can't take one. No way. Ryan I, beats him. I know a lot. I know a lot of people say that sparring, like a lot of people say that sparring don't matter. But if you guys think about it, if you actually been in the ring before, you do understand. Especially if you're gonna fight the same fighter that you've been sparring before, most of the time. I'm not saying every single time, but most of the time, you have their speed down, you have their distance down, you have everything down that that you've already seen in the ring. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying that it will be the exact same fight, but majority of times, fighters what they end up doing is. Um, when they go into sparring, uh, let's say, let's say they have a plan A or plan B, like if plan A is not working, they usually go back to what they know best. And that's what that's, if you sparred them before, then you already know what to look for. 
Well, you got certain high level boxers. They spawn somebody who they w- will potentially fight. They won't even show them everything. That's true. Like a, a guy like Ali, he'll let you whip his ass and sparring, especially if you know if you know that uh, he gonna fight you later on. He'll let you beat him or let you think that you're doing this and that. But really, he's just calculating all the information on you. You don't really know shit about him. And you might leave the sparring with a big head thinking, oh, shit, I just did this to Ali. Whole time, he allowed you to do that so you could have a big head while he figured out all your movements. So it just it depends on the boxer. Some guys will sit there and let and play with you, have you thinking one thing, but it's a whole other thing. And sometimes guys will really be in there really fighting. Like, like Ray Leonard and Aaron Pryor from the stories that people tell. They was in that bitch really fighting. And based off of what Aaron Pryor showed Ray Leonard in, in the uh, sparring sessions, that's why uh, Aaron Pryor never got a chance at Ray Leonard for the belt. So who wins, Cruz or Romero? I mean, that's a good fight, Cruz. but it's like, Cruz, Cruz really? Yeah. Gonna be well, 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 you think, why do you think Rolly will be Cruz? Let me ask you that. I never said, I'm just, I'm just saying they're two different weight. Like, this guy's heavier. He's a bigger fighter. I mean, obviously, Cruz has, like, he's tough. He has that dog in him. He comes that's forward. That's a great, I mean, that's a great point. Roly could potentially be the first guy to really hurt Cruz, but this is the thing. We saw how Roly is chinny. All right, right. Roly is chinny. Uh, Isak Cruz, he took Tank Davis punches. I'm going to say it again. A lot of people, I don't, don't think they really get, get me when I say this, but Cruz is the only man to fight Tank that has never been knocked down or knocked out. Every other guy has been knocked down or knocked out. So Cruz takes a punch better than Roly. Cruz also is a more aggressive fighter than Roley. He has better structure than Roley. He fights with his hands up. Roley doesn't. Roley fights with his, um, it's like the L guard where he puts his lead hand in the L around his stomach. And then every once in a while, he'll move back with his shoulder. He doesn't really have a real defense. Has kind of like Ryan Has Garcia. Cruz fought anybody as big as Roley? Well, no. Well, my point is like, Roley's a pretty big guy. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure, I feel like he could take his punch. You, it would probably be hard. Obviously, he's going. He's going to go ham on him for Roley multiple could, rounds. Then Roley couldn't take Ishmael Barroso's punch, and Roley couldn't take Tank Davis' punch. Cruz is a really good, um, really hard hitter, man. I mean, bro, Barroso, yeah, that guy. He fought with Tank. Tank is a heavy hitter. No, t- Tank is a heavy hitter, but I, I believe. Uh, I mean, Cruz has got to be a heavy hitter too, because I believe his rank is like twenty-three and seventeen, right? Cruz hits hard. Yeah, yeah he does. And he has a great body attack, crazy body attack. Like Roly about to be tested. The Cruz fight is gonna be harder than the Tank fight for Roly. Tank was chilling and waiting, trying to catch uh, Roly into some a big shot. Cruz yeah. is gonna come straight at it's him, a, so this is gonna be an even fight. harder fight for Roly. It's a cool, cool. It's a cool co-main, but it's like that's not the fight we asked for. But it's still good. It's gonna be a good fight. What's the fight that you asked for, bro? Everybody knows what fight. I, you know what we asked. For. You talking about Roly and Ryan? Yes, man. What? Oh my goodness! You no, know, do, out do you fight, understand right? that Isak Cruz could beat Ryan Garcia? Do you understand that? Do you understand Ryan would probably turn Cruz down for a fight? That's not the point, bro. What, what they the give point? the fans like, they what they want? Boxing, they don't give saying, the fans uh, what they want. What reason do you want to see Ryan? Like, do you think he pretty or something? Ryan isn't a good boxer. <laughs> so who <laughs> wanted? Why do you want to see him? <laughs> That's an easy fight. I mean, you don't think Ryan could beat Roley? Yeah, I think okay. Ryan could beat Roley. Okay, so then once Ryan becomes champion, where does he go from there? He can fight Devin. He can fight. Ryan shouldn't really be champion, is what I'm telling you. Right. Roley not supposed to be champion right now. Roley lost to a fucking old man. They saved his ass. Sucks. He's not that good. I know that. But it's like, it would sell. It gives. You know, it's good for boxing. People want to see it. Yeah, but I think I think a lot of people. Right. Okay, I I agree. I agree. Th- Roly is, is box office and Ryan is box office. Cause but we're not getting that. But you know what? I understand why you're upset. You're, you're, you're too much into the like, oh, because you know everything about boxing. You want to see this. I don't know everything that's about what, boxing. I say that every line. Wants to see. But no, no, no. You're right. You're right. They both, Um, I just said you're right. They both uh, are a box office. Roly could sell a fight. Ryan could sell a fight. I mean, but honestly, like, Roley, like, who this fight is, is an even better fight. Like, that fight was a better build up, but this is a better fight. I- you understand? I think with the, I think with the with the Ryan fight and the Roley fight, it's more of a uh, you know no disrespect to nobody, but it's more it, it appeals to the casuals. You know what I mean? It appeals a lot to the casuals because Ryan obviously he he has a social media follow and Roley's funny and he can obviously he can sell himself. But when it comes down to the the boxing, actual the hardcore boxing fans, uh, the, the, I I gotta say Cruz versus Roley would be a better fight. To be honest, I think Cruz. It is. This is gonna be crazy. I think Cruz versus Roley should be the main event, in my opinion. Yeah, it should be. I don't know. 
Like, who the fuck? But the reason why they didn't make it the main event, I think they're betting on the fact that Tim Zhu, his Australian fans are going to come through, man. They think that they're going to fuck with the Amazon Prime and buy that shit. I think Keith Thurman and Tim Zhu are obviously way better fighters than Roley and Cruz. So I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if it would sell as much, but I still think it's a, it's a made of that fight. It's a good co- if boxing was hold really, on, really, on, really on, good. Hold on, hold on. What? You say it's a main, it's a main event because they better fighters, but Ryan Garcia and Roley are, are worse than every, every name we've mentioned. Bro, they have like Deal-wise. 60 million but, followers. But, but that would have been a bigger main event than Keith Thurman and Tim Zhu. And I agree, it would be a bigger main event, but I'm just saying it's not because of, your point isn't because of the skill of the fighter. It's just, it's just because of who you like. I mean, if boxing was like really, 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 really good, Cruz versus Roley would be a good co-main, and then they throw a banger main event. Like I'm talking like Spence versus Crawford to somebody like maybe even I think like Keith Thurman versus versus Boots would be a good fight as a main event. You know, as I don't know if it would be the best main event. It still would yeah, be all right. Boot, Keith Thurman should fight Boots, man. But I think that Keith don't want that fight. Keith has shown that he will choose. He will pick and choose. Like think about it, Keith. He jumped in the ring with Sean Porter, beat Sean Porter, and trolled the hell out of Sean Porter. After that, I mean, he fought, the whole he time, the whole time he could have fought Spence, then fight I'm him. Not saying he's like. Then he tries to fight an old ass Manny Pacquiao and loses. Then he comes back and fights Barrios. Like Keith has shown that he's not really trying to fight the top top dudes. Like, now you're trying to fight a girl. Don't, don't fuck me, son. But he be fucking people. What I'm saying is like. In today's boxing, like the pay per views, like not pay per views, the headlines, like the main events, they're just they're whack. Like who the fuck fought today? John Ryder and Mungia as the main event. Roley versus Ryder. Yeah, but that fight wasn't that fight wasn't a whack fight. You have to understand. Let me break fight. it down. It's not a whack fight. It's just nobody. No, 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 like, no, no, nobody I, would I see what you say. It was whack. It was whack to me too. But I'm saying in a grand scheme of things, all of the Mexican fans it's a fight. they wanted it with the if you put two they, fighters together. It's gonna be a good fight. I'm saying. No, no. Listen, listen, listen. That fight. Let me finish this point. The fight wasn't, they know, the Mexican fans know that John Ryder isn't anything. As soon as the fight was over, the announcer said, Canelo, are you seeing this? John Ryder, he's important because he fought Canelo. So now anybody who fights uh, John Ryder, they're able to build a name if they dismantle them in a better fashion than Canelo does. This is an age-old trick in boxing, I mean, right? So the Mexican fans, they know that Jaime Munguia is the replacement for Benavidez. They would re- much rather see Canelo fight Munguia so, than Benavidez. So, Ryder, that like a, stop so, Canelo so, Ryder, so, Ryder, so that's what the fight was about. And everyone's in on it. The whole country of Mexico, they're in on it. They, they all for it. So you're saying Ryder's like a stepping stone for, for Munguia. Exactly. Absolutely. Just like that person in the chat just said. Absolutely. Like if... if- I mean, you you gotta understand it from the you gotta understand it from the Boston perspective. Like uh, I even said it, I was watching it live here on on TikTok. But yeah, but if, we all know who's gonna win that fight. Like we said, it's a stepping stone for Munguia. Like we no, all, no, no, yeah, but we all who's gonna win the Canelo Munguia fight as well. Yeah, but the the issue is was they wanted to see whether or not Munguia can do something better than Canelo. That's why the fight was. Actually- no, they they don't even they didn't even care. They were banking on the fact that Mung- if Munguia would have got a decision, they would have still uh, they would have still been like, you know what? Munguia looked good enough. That's what that's what the announcer would have said after the fight. I was watching he that. And... Good enough. He was landing shots, and I think I think he's good enough to get in there with Canelo because this is all about protecting Canelo from Benavidez. Yeah, that, this is what, that's all this about. I, I was watching that. the commentators on the zone. I was watching the commentators on the zone. They're like look at the rankings of all the super middleweights, and they're like, forget Benavidez. Munguia versus Canelo is the fight to make. Obviously, they're gonna back Munguia because he fights that on the zone. So, you see? yeah, I don't, that, that's crazy, man. I mean, the the fact no, that- that's called protection, man. That's a that's how it is, man. When Canelo isn't just Mexican, he's Mexican, but he looks white. Yeah, so no, no, no. I, he has I'm, the support I'm, I'm, of Mexican fans, but he also has the backing of powerful white men in the boxing world because they want somebody that resembles them to look. Dominate. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, the real fans of boxing, we know what the fuck is going on. We yeah. know that they're protecting that boy from David Benavidez. Like, y'all gonna keep protecting him, and we probably never gonna get to Canelo Benavidez. I don't blame, like, like obviously Canelo is like, scared, but like, I don't, like, like, David Benavides is like, he probably walks around like at 200 pounds. Like, he's huge. He doesn't. He's not... Guess what? When Canelo fought Floyd, Floyd weighed in at 152. This is the second weigh in. Canelo was over 165 pounds. He still got that ass with. And if Floyd would have lost, nobody would have been like, well, Cano, he was like a damn near 170. They wouldn't have gave a fuck. So guess what? I don't give a fuck that Benavidez is a weight bully. They didn't look. He said he better than Floyd, right? Floyd used to routinely beat up on guys who outweighed him by 15 to 20 pounds. 
You're better than Floyd. Do what Floyd Mayweather did. If not, tell your fans stop bothering with that bullshit. And if y'all in here, make sure y'all tap in the screen, everybody in the chat, because we're giving y'all great content. Yo, another comment. Like, uh, what what, what the uh, uh, Floyd? Like when it comes to the waste stuff, I know everybody says that. You know, Devin Haney came in at so, so many pounds and Canelo's coming in at so many pounds or whatever. But at the end of the day, man, skills win the fight, man. There's no way weight wins all that. No, weight, no, weight does. Play a big part. But the only, the only way that you, you, you're you going to beat a guy who's bigger than you is if you're super skilled. That's what I'm that saying. That was the difference between a Floyd and a Canelo. The you Floyd, you guys, Canelo, they don't complain Canelo about weight. weight really big as hell, right? But Canelo doesn't want to be put to the same test that, that Floyd was. When he went up to fight Bibble, it was clear that he was going up in weight. So when you lose, you have a safety net. You can say, I fought a bigger man. If he fights Benavidez at his weight class, super middleweight, he has no excuse for the ass whipping that's coming his way. No, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about su uh, super middleweight versus super middleweight. So if one you comes think? in at 175, 170, the other one comes in at 180. Yeah, there's a 10, there's yeah. a 10 uh, pound difference. But at the end of the day, okay, yeah, can that be used? Yes, but at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be the skill that, that wins the fight. You think no, you think okay, you, weight makes a big difference, man. Like I box the motherfucker got ten to fifteen pounds on you, you better be super skilled in order to yeah, win. Other than yeah, that, if it, they're but, bigger than you and the skill is similar, they're gonna beat you. Just like Benavidez last fight, he he whooped that black guy's ass. Andrade, like that guy's small. He's a small yeah. dude. He's I, I, don't know, I mean, I'm like, fighting at, I could just, um, at super Andrade, super middle really. weight. Could, at one could you just match. imagine this guy Andrade's punches? Like I guarantee you they felt like marshmallows on Benavidez's face. Like he didn't feel anything. Like it's an easy fight for him. You think Hey, you think Benavides would accept the rehydration clause from Canelo? Like, no, no, no he doesn't no. need to. Canelo, Canelo doesn't put rehydration clauses on fighter. No, I'm just Canelo fought, Canelo fought at light heavyweight. Don't nobody want to hear about no rehydration clause. You think so? You think on fight day, you think they're gonna weigh the same thing? No, no, no. Benavides is gonna outweigh him by 15 to 20 pounds. So, what's wrong with the rehydration clause? Like, I'm saying, you don't think he'd accept it? You really don't think it's acceptable. There, there's no need for a rehydration clause. Canelo has already fought men Benavidez's size. He just has to go in there and get that ass. It's not the thing is this. The reason why Canelo doesn't want to fight is because all these fans, um, it's just all in, in the world in general. A lot of people they have shorter attention spans now and they're less logical. Everything is about emotions. So these people go on emotional roller coasters and shit. So they wouldn't be able to just accept Canelo getting fucked up because it, it would be like ruining their world. They think that Canelo is the best thing since sliced bread. These people go to sleep at night and tell themselves, well, if Canelo would have fought Floyd in his 30s, he would have won. Like they make up, mm -hmm. they tell themselves this shit because they're not logical thinkers, they're emotional thinkers. When you're dealing with emotional thinkers, you have to handle them with care. You can't tell them the truth. It's like you're their parent and, um, you know, Santa is, is, is Christmas. You got to tell them, hey, Santa's going to get you guys presents. You can't tell them, look, me and your mom, we bust our ass for this shit, all right? So here you go. You got to decorate it. You got to make up a, a story, and, and you got to give it to them, man. Like like putting medicine inside someone's food. You got to hide it from them. You can't just give them the raw, the, the truth. The truth of the matter is this. Canelo is an all-time great, but Benavidez will probably knock him out. So what does that mean? That means no, Benavidez no, no. potentially is better than Canelo. They can't handle that. You know what I mean? Like a few good men, fight, you can't handle the truth. The Canelo fans can't handle the fucking truth, man. That's all it is. So you think the advantage Canelo, I mean, Benavides has over Canelo is just him simply being better than him, like in terms of skill? Yes. Benavides throws more punches than Canelo. The man was born with better stamina than Canelo. The man is a larger man than Canelo. You have to ask yourself this. On top of that, I know. I know. I know. Benavides would probably be Canelo. Like, Let me ask you a question real fast. Let me ask you a question real fast. God. Benavides has been at the weight class for years. Jaime Munguia started at 154. How in the fuck is Jaime Munguia in talks of fighting Canelo, but everyone is trying to bypass Benavides all of a sudden? You got to ask yourself that. Yeah, Why? I'm scared. I mean, we understand that. We know, like, he doesn't want to fight him. Man, no, that's, that's all it is. That's all she wrote. You heard it out the horse's mouth. My, my thing is, if he's scared and he doesn't want to fight Benavides, you know, he got to give up the belt then. I mean, that's... that's like, give up all the I guarantee you... I guarantee you when, when Canelo, like, thinks in his head about Benavidez, like, he's like, you know, his his ego, he's like, I don't have to fight him. I don't have to fight him. Just like how he says it on, on TV. I don't have to fight him. I don't need to fight him. He Brace says that is how he can fight anybody. He doesn't care. And his fans thing. will still buy his fights. It's common sense, you know? Canelo prolonging... This Benavidez ordeal is probably a, him just giving a big F you to Benavidez. Like, I'm going to make you wait for this.
Hey man, uh, somebody said Benavidez was a mandatory for Bert Debiev and didn't activate it. That's well, that's true, but you know why? Benavidez already said he wants to get Canelo. You know why? He's thinking about legacy. If I could beat Canelo right now, then I can go up and beat ben, uh, Bert Debiev and uh, Bivol and all these people. He's going to go down as a legend, a generational talent. You think, hey, you think the Benavidez best can beat Bert Debiev? Canelo is robbing the boxing world and the Mexican uh, history of boxing by not fighting that young man. And it's a damn shame. Also, and the, the fact that y'all trying to protect him, y'all should be, y'all, y'all, uh, sorry as hell, man. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. At the end of the day, he's also robbing himself because not a lot of people are going to pay to watch him fight Jamal Chavo or Jaime Munguia when there's David Benavidez out there. But guess what? I don't know. I still think his fans will buy his fights. Pay because Canelo been making uh, 50 and $60 million pay for years now. So he doesn't need the money. Why so he's not, he not really robbing himself. He's saving himself. After he fights Benavidez and gets knocked out, he'll never be looked at in the same way. If he keeps just knocking out these bums, he'll be able to make more money later in retirement. Just like Floyd. Floyd is able to make money because Floyd never lost. Canelo has lost, but he's never been truly embarrassed since the Floyd Mayweather fight. And even that fight, people give him an excuse because deep down they know Floyd is something that we've never seen before. So it's okay. But for him to get knocked out against Benavidez, that would change how people view him 10 years and 20 years down the line. So he'd be losing money in the long run just yeah. by getting knocked out by Benavides. He knows that. So kudos to you, Canelo. You know, you're a smart fellow. Yeah, yeah that's why he's not, why he's not fighting Benavides. Because he's high risk, low reward. Didn't, didn't Canelo say he'd fight Jake Paul after he retires? Yeah. That's I, a good fight. That's a good fight. That, I, I actually want to see, see that Canelo fight. fight Jake Paul. I'd rather and see that fight him than him. That's another thing. thing. If I'd rather see that Canelo fight. going to go around and give him a title shot. So Jamal Charlo and Jaime Munguia, he might as well go fight Jake Paul or Conor McGregor. What the heck? Yeah, yeah. I actually would rather see Canelo. Fuck it. That's a good point, Levi. If you're not going to fight Benavidez and you're going to try to uh, spoon feed us with this bullshit, and we know that Jaime Munguia isn't a real threat to you, we know that Jamal Charlo isn't a real threat to you, retire now and go fight Jake Paul. That's I would much rather facts. want to see. Now that's you're gonna make more money with that fight. I want to see it. People have been wanting to see Jake Paul get his ass beat for years now, and we know that Canelo is too proud to accept money under the table to lose to Jake. So Jake gonna have to actually fight to get his ass broken up in the pieces in the smithereens. I'd rather see that. Fuck it. Hey Canelo, fuck it. You don't want to fight Benny Pierre? It's cool. Retire. Go fight uh, Jake Paul, bro. I think he's trying to bag a little more wins. Maybe you don't know. Like I guess I, this isn't like sixty Man, wins. Kyrie gotta be trolling. Hmm? Some of this man in the comments, Kyrie, he got to be through. People loved Mike Tyson before he got knocked out, and he's still a legend. Yeah, that's facts, man. Canelo has some of that Mike Tyson. Like, it doesn't matter. But, but when Mike Tyson was uh, at the top, he went through hell. It doesn't matter how. It, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of um, publicity against him, all type of shit. Now that Mike Tyson is old, and um, y'all don't have to watch him uh, be in shape and be dangerous and be able to do shit that y'all can't do y'all can accept the greatness that he had canelo is different a lot of people they love canelo uh they want to make excuses for him and canelo has never been under the scrutiny of a mike tyson he's never been attacked by the media like how mike tyson was but yeah if, if canelo loses they're, they're probably still gonna fuck with him but they never gonna look at him like the killer that they look at him like as now if he get knocked out by ben v, bro they would never look at him the same in mexico I don't think like I still I don't think he's the same anymore. Like I I really don't you know his fight with Jermel Jer like it was all right. He couldn't even knock he him out. Bro, he looked better in that fight. What are you? He, he couldn't even knock him out. He should have stopped him. Right. It's hard to knock somebody out that's been running the whole fight. Yeah, he who was running he's a high defense. He's been Kings running the whole stuff. fight. Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant. Um, I, I agree with y'all because Caleb Plant was running the whole fight against Benavidez. And he got the biggest ring that he could get a 22 foot ring. So it is hard to stop somebody when they run it. Yeah. Are you seeing when he you seeing how when he was hitting Especially him, he kept backing up. Hey Zutano. Hey, make, make sure you tap that screen, bro. Like because I, you I, doing I, all this, um you doing all I'm this then that guy uh, like, make sure you tap the screen. That's why I hate I I I, just, I I don't hate. I just don't appreciate these fighters like Jermel and Shakur. Like they'll literally run across the ring in their fights and then go on the mic at the end of the fight and say, oh, he didn't knock me out. That's literally what he's, Jer Jermel said to him. Like, yeah, that was, that was, he didn't knock me out. And then Shakur Jermel, on the mic, Jermel, on Shakur on the mic. The chords was just boring. Shakur on the mic, at the end of the mic, he was like, oh yeah, I was just doing what I do to get the belt. You know, he doesn't, he's not trying to put, he doesn't put the fans like, 
you. Of course, said he got hurt in that fight. But let me tell you something, man. Guess what? You're right. You're 100 percent correct. But that's why Tank Davis is a uh, pay per view superstar. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, Corey, I, I don't. I Tank can't, Davis. He's he, he could fight in a different style. He showed in the amateurs. He could fight in a in a boxer centric style as opposed to a knockout centric style. But Tank says that he tries to make it as exciting for the fans as possible. I believe him. And that's the difference between his pay-per-view sales and Shakur. So guess what? Shakur, he he may piss you off, but he's pissing himself off, off as well. Because he's not making the money that he should be making because he's not fighting an aggressive style. So it is what it is. I so mean, Shakur, also, Shakur hasn't had a pay-per-view yet because he hasn't had that kind of opposition in front of him yet. Facts. Yeah, and a lot of people, Esau Cruz ducks Shakur. A lot of people duck Shakur because they know... Oh. Uh, they're not going to be able to touch him. Especially Esau Cruz. Pitbull's crew said, no, we don't want to fight that kind of style. That's a straight up duck. Right. That's a duck. Pitbull Cruz duck, duck, duck that man. And about could, tank, you imagine tank, how, hey, could you imagine how good of a fight it would be with Tank and Devin and Saudi? Kind of average. Yeah, yeah, Tank and Devin and no, Saudi. Look, they're Tank both, and Devin they're both Muslim. Regardless. They probably they're will fight in Saudi. Muslim. But they're not fighting for another two to three years, man. I mean, they're both Muslim, so it would literally be like it would it would go per, go perfectly together. That guy, that guy named Turkey, I don't know what his name is, make a perfect yeah, perfect um, card. Like that. That Al-Sheik or something like that. That would be sick. Hey, I, I'm about to say something like absolutely crazy. I know this is like this would never happen in a million years, but like in a perfect world, you know, you guys know the Super Bowl, right? You know what's coming up. Yeah. You know who you know who's gonna probably be like the main the main the Super Bowl. Like, you know who you know who's gonna go off against each other? The Ravens and San Francisco. Hey, wh- where's where's Tank from? Uh, Baltimore. Where where does Devin say he's from? Uh, Oakland. San Francisco. He literally fought in San Francisco. Could you imagine a San, San Francisco? It's in Las Vegas as well. Could you imagine an event with Tank and Devin in Las Vegas? They're, he's from San Francisco. Tank is from Baltimore. On I, yeah, Super Bowl I, weekend. I could, I could see Devin being there, the but just never really leave his house. Who, Tank? I mean, the fact that um, they both from those places, um, that is a good little point, but that shit would never happen. But at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah, it is weird that, that they were they pushing for the San Fran and the Baltimore, and then people pushing for the Tank and the Devin, they, and then Tank from Baltimore and Devin from nice. Oakland or San Fran, that, basically California. Okay, but like on Super Bowl, in Super Bowl, like in the Super Bowl, like, let's say if it's the Niners versus the Baltimore, like, who are the fans going to be in, at the Super Bowl? It's going to be Baltimore Raven fans, San Francisco 49er fans. These guys, these are easy, easy fans to attract an event like in boxing. Two guys from their towns would be on the same, same week around the same area in Las Vegas. Like that would make, like if a promoter, like if a promoter made that happen, that would be like, he easily is the best promoter in boxing. But obviously that's like, you know, that would probably never, ever, ever happen. No, I don't know because you don't really want to mix events like that because some guys are, you're going to lose fans, actually. Like, there's a lot more football fans in America than boxing. So a lot of motherfuckers would be like, nah, I ain't want to fuck Same. that tank fight. I mean, well, like And then after the Ravens fight, they're going to their after parties to enjoy what they just watched. Um, they're not, they wouldn't, they wouldn't want to watch a football uh, fight. I mean, a football match and then go see a boxing match right after they're going to be already drunk out of their minds and having fun. I mean, you know, yeah, but didn't Shakur like fight that guy? Sometimes, like, sometimes, they, like, like, sometimes you know. they hype up these fighters, but uh, at the stadiums, like Shakur, before his last fight, he was at Allegiant Stadium watching a Raiders game, and they acknowledged him saying, "Oh, he's going to be fighting on this day." Okay, so you're saying that they should still be marketing uh, that fight at the, at the Super Bowl? That'd be cool. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they also gave Shakur a jersey. And now that I think about it, Canelo before he fought. Triple G, the third time he was there too. Let me tell you something too, man. Uh, a lot of guys, maybe they shouldn't, they shouldn't uh, make contact with these NFL teams before the fight because Arrow he made contact with the Dallas Cowboys. He got fucked up. Shakur, he said that the damn uh, one of them football teams was giving him jerseys and, and promoting his next fight. He didn't have a good performance, so maybe boxers y'all should, should stay away from the uh, football players and maybe they putting some type of curse on y'all and shit. Like the Madden curse or some shit. I don't know, but stay away from football teams and coaches, organizations before your fight. Cause some something, something is going on there. Like didn't hey, well, didn't take fight the Santos on like like it was like the Grand Grand Prix weekend, like during that time, like on a Thursday night. I know that fight was boring yeah, as hell. Yeah. I'm saying that's like that's why I bring up like um the Super yeah. Bowl.
Look, I like Shakur, but that was that was just a straight up boring. The co-main event was more exciting than that. Yeah, sure, for sure. All right, KJ, bro. I appreciate you having me on your platform, letting me speak and all that. But man, you be blessed, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake out. All right, wrestlers. Appreciate you, man. You sound like you need to get some rest, man. Yeah, my, my son over here tripping, man. He, he nigga, look, I'm gone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Hey, yeah. hey, whether Tank was hurt, I mean, Shakur was hurt or not at the post fight, I don't know. He's probably just lying because, you know, he was just intimidated uh, yeah. by the Los Santos power. He's just running around the ring. If he was, uh, if he had any sense, he should have made a fight in Feb. Like, he should have just split the fight in February, went right back in the gym, got an easy title defense. I don't know, with a, with a good name. Like, I know Cambosis is going to fight Loma, but that would be Cambosis for Shakur on, uh, in February right after that fight. A terrible, terrible event he fought with De Los Santos. He could have easily uh, made a new fight. So when is he going to fight in the summer? Uh, Wait, uh, probably sometime in spring. Uh, like, uh, who is that one guy who keeps showing up on these top-ranking events? Muratella? Is that his name? Muratella? What do you mean? Um, uh, I think his name is Raymond Muratella. Mor- is he a fighter? Yeah. Uh, we've never yeah. heard of him, but if Shakur's going to fight a guy like that, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's I've heard more Italian than somebody said. More, more Italian. Yeah, that's it. Like, he, he's good, undefeated. I, I think one of the first times I saw him was on the Haney Long. Yo, 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 yo. Shakur just need to fight Navarrete, man. Fuck that. He yeah. need to fight Navarrete. And so, look, somebody else, as soon as I say this, somebody said in the chat, Shakur need to fight mm-hmm. Navarrete. That's a good fight for Shakur. That's a fight where Shakur can make some yeah. money. The Mexicans are going to back, uh, back Navarrete. Mm-hmm. Navarrete, he probably mm-hmm. won't get done the same way Valdez uh, got done, but it'll be a way for Shakur to show some offense mm-hmm. and to get yeah. paid. And it's going to be like a, a pretty mm-hmm. decent pay-per-view event. Yeah, and with Navarrete's style, that's a pretty good fight for Shakur. He's pretty yeah, hittable. Yeah, it's going to allow him to show his defensive prowess, his counter ability. Yeah. And he's not going to be able to He can run, but he knows that after a fight like Edwin Santos, yeah. he's, he's not going to run after that. Bang it out that time. I'm just saying, like, if, if he fought a guy like Dos Santos and had such a shitty performance, like, you know, he had took no damage whatsoever. Like, why would he want to make the fans, like, have a bad bad look on you for, like, all the way until spring? If you didn't take no damage, no nothing happened, you fought on a damn Thursday. Like, he should fight right away. He should fight as soon as possible. For real, for real, he should have rematched the dude. He should have rematched De Los Santos uh, immediately after that. Like, as fast as they can make Uh, this shit happen. But this is not back in the day. It's so much about money. uh, Promotional teams, they don't never want to have a a bad night. Like, they don't have have to understand. Not every fight is going to make you millions. So, instead of trying to pay these dudes a million dollars every fight, paying what the hell they bring in. If you if you Shakur Stevenson and you only bring in uh, a couple of pay per view buys, then okay, you gonna have a five hundred thousand dollar night. But these they be trying to they be trying to get these fighters um, bigger purses than what they're earning, and they also trying to make like every fight is gonna be this big huge main event. No, nah, bro, y'all gotta accept that some fights you only gonna make one hundred k, two hundred k, three hundred k because you're not doing your part as promoting yourself, or because you're not fighting the opposition that really gets the public interested. So everybody has to accept that. Stop trying to act like every fight is going to be some major mega pay per view event. The promoters and the fighters have to accept that. Sometimes all should bring it back a million dollars. Sure. Bring that why, and move on to the I next fight. It's I better in the long run. That's why I don't get why they put that fight at the T Mobile Arena. You could see it in a lot of the wide shots that half that stadium was empty. Mm. <laughs> Damn, Levi on the edge. He said. He said they like WWE trying to I mean, make, that, make it seem like yeah. the damn. Uh, and also, it, it was, they did it on a th- they did it on a Thursday night. You're not gonna get a lot of people out there on a Thursday night. You know that's top rank though. They don't know what the hell they. Bob Am, first of all, Bob Am don't even like marketing black fighters. That's, that's number one. Oh, but our top rank barely markets anybody. They have a lot of good fighters who should be getting more promotion. Yeah, they don't know what the hell they're doing, man. Like really, they need to be sh- dissolved. And sh- if everybody sh- going to PBC, boxing will be better. PBC, they get they get these fights out. Shakur, he he just needs to fight a you know a decent name. I'm not saying a big name, but like you know yeah. a name that some people know. Like obviously Navarrete, but didn't yeah, wasn't great. wasn't he wasn't he didn't he pull up to Cambos's last fight and they were talking shit to each other? They both yeah, fight. Yeah, I don't want to see that shit. I don't want yeah, to see but that. 
Yeah, yeah Kambosos keeps, keeps talking shit to him, him all the time on X. I'm just saying. Kambosos like, got punked by Shakur. He was asking him the same shit as Caleb Plant asking Canelo in the video. Like, am I pretty good? Shakur was like, no, you're the worst, yeah, but... worst undisputed champion ever. And Kambosos knew in his heart that he couldn't beat Shakur. But he was undisputed at one point. Yeah, but... So that means that Kambosos is a guy. Yeah, who I can see why you don't want to see that fight. Opportunity to no, <laughs> That he didn't really deserve. Like, Kambosos got an opportunity yeah, that he never Yeah, really I think deserved. after Kambosos' fight, they kept telling Shakur, you know, take the 25%, go fight Devin while you get the chance. If I, all I'm, did it. All I'm saying did it. Did it. is if I was if I was Shakur and I had a fight like that with the contest, I'd book a fight as fast as I can. Because I can't. I can't let, like, let the fans have an outlook on me on my last performance, because nobody likes Shakur right now. Like, after his last performance, everybody's thinking of him. he's a like goofy, you know? Nobody yeah, they all been uh, trashing him. Shakur don't understand, like, bro, if, to be an African-American fighter and you're not really that charismatic, they're going to be waiting for your ass to lose. They're waiting for you to look bad. And when Listen, you do look bad, they'll try to use that as a way to uh, discredit your entire career. So he I needs to figure out a way to stay on his square and, and make sure every performance is great. Other than that, they're going to be on your ass, bro. I, listen, I'm not one of those. Like, I'm one of those boxing fans that I know. Like he, had, okay, he probably he maybe had a bad day. Like you know, he, he could easily bounce back. But you know, the casual yeah. fans are not gonna look at that. They don't care. Casual about. fans, they don't got time for that. If you're not charismatic no. and you black, that's your ass. You, want, you better show out every fight. That's just what it is. But casual, but casual you, fans won't accept that because they don't want to put in the work and actually look into this stuff. Yeah, they yeah they la yeah very lazy brain, very short. Attention span. That's another reason why boxing. Uh, they don't like watching um, these events for boxing because it's twelve rounds. I wouldn't so, consider myself a casual days, fan. Better but... off being a knockout artist. You can go further in the sport just knocking dudes out, even if you're not that skilled. Yeah, like, look. Yeah, like Deontay Wilder. I'm not a casual yeah. fan, but like I, when I watched that fight, the Shakur fight, like it genuinely made me like very, very like frustrated. Like literally, I just did not want. I don't want to watch that guy ever again mm -hmm. after watching that fight. Well, well, you gotta say this about that fight. It was a he good cue for like, insomnia. Like, there's literally a clip. A clip. Somebody took a snippet of him actually running. Like, he actually was running. Like, I mean, but, and you watch run. UFC, right? You said what? You watch UFC, right? Of course, I watch UFC. Yeah. In UFC, there's multiple clips of guys literally running in a circle, and it's guys who run, turn their back, and run, and they still come out winning the fight. So, of mm -hmm. course, what the court did was a tactic in war. Some people that's a tactic. It's called retreating. You retreat, you reset, yeah, but, you get back yeah. to business. People I, I, do it all I just, the time. And it looks, yeah. it looks a, a same, yeah. but no one makes fun of it. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I agree because I just look to me. He just looked scared to get hit. He looked. So but no, here's scared my thing: I, in your sport, they do that and they do yeah. it often. There's clips of guys turning their back and running, and the motherfucker who runs, they actually come out on top to win the fight. Because whether you like it or not, it's just a battle tactic. It's called retreating. Yeah. You retreat, you reset, you, you rekindle. You know I mean, you come back, yeah. you get the job. Yeah. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Like you're talking about, okay, Mayweather. He doesn't. I'm not, I would have never considered him as a runner. He doesn't run. But that. I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. That, can you admit that you know, four people turn their back yeah, because, the UFC? Huh, and yeah, UFC, Mayweather's not a runner. Like saying, you saw him like UFC early in his career. Like that. But UFC is not considered as a sport where like, oh, somebody's actually like. Cause UFC is like you know like it's brawling. A lot of shit happens. A whole lot of action. Just in general, mm -hmm. like the regular, the regular theme of the UFC. People don't look at. A fight and say, "Oh, that guy was is a track star." Like they could, okay, so, run, but that's uh, not the, the main reason thing, why. Know. I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason why is because uh, at the end of the day, Dana White has a monopoly over the UFC, and he controls pretty much what the media says about them. So they put respect on those fighters' names. When a fighter in the UFC runs, mm -hmm. you don't hear people after the fight saying, "This dude's a coward." You watch what you watch all the media. Yeah. Nobody says a damn thing. You can, can yeah, you they, 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 they put respect on their names, names, but they don't put respect in their paychecks. Well, I'm yeah, they don't work. Yeah, see, and that's a, that's another thing too. They they rip on boxers, but at the end of the day, boxers are making more money. UFC fighters are more respected. They're making all the fights that the fans right. want to see, but them motherfuckers yep. are underpaid. So it's it's based off what you like, man. You want to be respected or you want to be wealthy. Yeah, that's why all these UFC fighters are coming over to boxing, and that's probably why Francis Ngannou is the patron saint of all UFC fighters right now because of how much Francis money he's made. Ngannou is a legend. Yep. Like what he did is a, like he stood up to the boss. And he and he left. He he showed it. You know he he made all that money, and they know he just rubbed it in his face. You know like who doesn't like Francis Ngannou? Hey, somebody he, said yeah, everybody wants to make more money, but all, don't buy the all, all, all these uh, UFC fighters are probably praying to him right now. 
Samuel Guerrero, do you understand yeah. that UFC pay-per-views do better than boxing pay-per-views? The reason boxers make more money is because they have an actual commission that enforces that you you have to pay them a, a minimum amount based on the money that y'all made. You cannot, you have to pay a boxer a certain percentage. It wasn't always like that. I mean, and you have to see Dana White can pay these guys what he wants to pay them. I mean, even if they have pay-per-views that outsell boxing. So it's not about people not buying the fights. It's just about him not giving a fuck about his fighters when it comes to making sure they're monetarily all right. That's what that guy Dana White says. He's like, we run a business. If you don't like it, go start your own organization. You know, he doesn't yeah. really care. Yeah, that, that's why the PFL is around now. Yeah, PFL is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. He's, I mean, he's he Francis Simon. He has yet to fight. It's just kind of funny to me. Yeah, because yeah, because he's getting more money to go buy, fight Anthony Joshua. This guy, this guy, for somebody asked Francis, like on an interview, they're like, who's a harder fight? Tyson Fury in a rematch or John Jones in a UFC fight? He's literally, he literally right away said Tyson Fury. He was just completely disrespected the UFC and John Jones. He's just like, oh, I want to rematch with Tyson Fury. Because he could probably beat John Jones. Think about it. Prince Ngannou is a career MMA fighter. Yeah, He's no. never boxed before. He, he had a great boxed. performance in Fury. Yeah, he said he felt Fury's power. But him fighting Fury again, him going to go fight AJ, him fighting any world-class boxer is a harder fight for him because he's not a boxer. Yeah, he's not a boxer. It wasn't yeah, him for sure. I think, Jones. Yeah. And even when you look at the Fury fight, it, I think that was a case of Francis definitely being that good, but also just a case of Fury being at his worst that night. I think it was a, a lot of combination combination of a lot of different things. Yeah. I'm gonna say this last point, then I'm gonna end out the live because my phone's about to die. Tyson Fury, uh, I don't know what gloves he used in that Wilder fight, but his power came and his power went after those wars with Deontay Wilder. And then Ganu said that they made sure that him and Tyson checked the gloves. That's number one. Number two, I don't think Tyson Fury took Ngannou serious as far as his training. Number three, I think Tyson Fury's body is affected by the wars that he had with Deontay Wilder getting knocked down mm -hmm. repeatedly. Um, in the in the third fight and in the first fight, he was knocked down as well. So whenever you go through wars and you're a man in your thirties, you're not going to be the same. Same thing that happened to Ali and Frazier. Mm -hmm. um, they fought all those wars and they were not the same after those wars. Oh, and yes, ultimately, Francis Ngannou is just a great athlete, great competitor, and a man with a lot of power. I he mean, went out there and, yeah, plus, and he got the job. Uh, the, also, Fury is not a one point knockout fighter. He's like someone who gets his knockouts through an accumulation of punches. Plus. Yep. Francis is just too big and too muscular to just he be worn down 60. like that. Wasn't even put all that fat boy tactics on him and put his weight on him. Yeah, you, yeah. Yo, Levi, Sant, and Drake, thanks for coming up, man. I'm about to get up off of this live, man. Yeah, oh, for sure. I Thank appreciate y'all coming and contributing. Everybody that was in the chat, tapping the screen, I, uh, thanks to you as well. The full live replay will be available on YouTube. Y'all have a good night. Uh, also, mm -hmm. if you're interested in watching the Jaime Mungia versus um, John Ryder breakdown on Patreon, I'll have that up in a couple of days um, because we're going to, I'm going to show you step by step exactly why Canelo's going to knock this guy out. It's obvious, but most people are visual learners. They want to see it. So make sure you just make sure to support the Patreon. The link is in the bio. You can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. Y'all have a good night. Hey, uh, man. Quick before you All go. Right, man, peace.